I don't know if you're like me, but I started off with uh, some questionable services. Napster, Morpheus, LimeWire, FrostWire, AOL chat room. You've got mail. If any of those ring a bell, then uh, you're pretty old school like me. You know, we all started off using MP3s. Some of the newer generation, of course, you've skipped all that. But I started off with MP3s. Let me rewind a little bit. I actually started off with tapes. With tapes, you'd be able to make your own mixtapes by, you know, putting together some stuff that you like. And then when it came to MP3s, you started being able to record and create your own CDs. If you wanted to be the cool kid, you had to have the most music and like the best mixtapes, right? To have the best mixes, you'd have to have a lot of music. Then came Spotify. And after Spotify came around, you had access to millions of songs all of a sudden. And you didn't have to download music because you could just stream it from your phone. The days of CDs and mixtapes, those are all gone now. And now you have a few of these big companies that are trying to compete for the streaming music space. So you have Spotify, Google Play, Apple Music, Pandora to a certain extent, Tidal, and now you have YouTube. Today I wanna to focus on YouTube music because that's something I switched to recently. I previously had Spotify, I had a family plan. Now I decided to switch to YouTube music just because it was the same price and in addition, I also got the ability to have YouTube Red, which allows you to watch YouTube videos without those annoying ads. So yeah, with all of these service providers having 30 million, 40 million songs, whatever it is, what I believe it comes down to is really the AI and figuring out what somebody wants to listen to. A lot of times I'll go into Spotify and I'm just overwhelmed. There's just too much to choose from. I don't know what to what I feel like listening to. So I kind of wanted to figure it out for me. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what I'm looking for. What I really want is my own personal DJ. I want someone who's going to read my mind. That's going to say, Hey, you know what? You know, based on your history, I think this is what you want to hear right now. I want to be able to open it and listen to music. And actually that's what I've found that YouTube music has been able to do better than any of the other services that I've tried. But Google knows a lot about you. They have a ton of data. They know, typically what people like and what they dislike based on how long you watch a video, what you tend to watch next. So there's a lot of data that they can pull from to be able to provide that experience, that real customized experience. So in a way, Google knows more about you than you do. Another thing to keep in mind, this is an early release. I don't know if that means it's a public beta, but kind of feels like it, that's for sure. What I've actually noticed is that the early release version is just a user interface change, and it's not even a new app. If I sign in with different accounts, uh, one account I have set up with a early release, the other account I don't. If I sign in and out on my Android device, it'll actually change the interface based on that. There are a ton of things that I don't like, but I'm gonna keep that out just because this is an early release. And just to be fair, they're probably gonna fix a lot of these issues in the future. I'll list them in the description below and you can read through the things I don't like. But for right now to keep the video short, I'm just gonna talk about the things I do like. So this is the main thing. I think that YouTube slash Google, I think their recommendation engine is the best out of any of them that I've tried. And that's weird because I've watched some of the other reviews and they didn't say the same thing as what I'm telling you right now. But try it for yourself, there's a free trial. I played a song, all different types of genres, and I wanted to see what it would recommend. You know, so the moment you play a song, it'll create a radio station for you. I searched through those and I kind of just did a side-by-side -side comparison between it and Spotify. And what I found is Spotify, I'd seed it with a particular song or artist and Maybe two or three songs in, it would play something that's completely weird and throw me off. If I was listening to this in a car with somebody else, I'd be like, whoa, whoa, change that. Let's listen to the radio, I don't know. It just really went to a weird place. Versus with YouTube music, basically I could listen to the entire playlist and it did such a good job that when it did have a weird song that came up, I was more forgiving. I was just like, meh, you know. That was okay, and it was further down the list. So the first few songs that it played, it made sure, it kind of took the safe route. I, I'd rather it recommend something later on in the list rather than early on. There's a feature there called Live Performances where you can watch a bunch of your favorite artists and see, you know, some of the stuff that they've done live. Now, think about it. Only YouTube has access to those videos because some of those might be user submitted, right? I also like the way it shows the artwork, like real big on the screen because I just recently got a turntable and I just kind of miss seeing the artwork. I mean, I'm sure that they spend a lot of time figuring out what to put on their album cover. And um, it's cool to be able to see that, you know, fill up your screen. That also comes in handy because a lot of times I'll Chromecast it 
to my projector and it's cool to see the artwork real huge. Another thing I like is, of course, music videos. Instead of just listening to music, it's kind of cool sometimes to make a playlist based on music videos and it'll show the music videos right there on your on your TV. Watching music videos kind of old school, right? Watching stuff on MTV, BET, VH1. I don't know if you remember those channels, but yeah, I used to watch those. It was kind of cool to see how they visualize the song. I also like the fact that you can just play a single song and it'll automatically start a playlist for you. Instead of, I think on Spotify, it does something weird like if I pick a song from an album, then it'll just start playing the rest of the album. I guess both of them make sense. The other thing is you can actually make a radio station based on an existing playlist. One of my favorite features is that it provides an endless mixtape, which is kind of the same thing as the daily mixtape on Spotify. They basically take a look at all of the stuff that it knows about you. So the songs that you like, you know, the type of music you kind of listen to, where you listen to certain music, maybe the time of day. I'm not sure exactly how they're coming up with their algorithm. But it takes all that into account and it makes endless playlists that you can just pop into and it'll just keep playing music. They also have an offline mixtape, which I find really handy. You can go in there and determine how much you want it to record. So 20 songs all the way up to 100 songs, it'll refresh it on a daily basis. It doesn't change completely, but I do notice that it isn't the same playlist as before. Now that comes in handy for me because I'm using Project Fi. I have to be careful of the data that I use. So when I'm in my car, the phone connects automatically with Bluetooth. I just hop into YouTube music and choose my offline mixtape. And now I know that I'm not gonna be using any extra data. When you get premium, I think they're calling it YouTube premium, you'll be able to see all the original content, which is pretty huge actually. I don't know if you guys watch Cobra Kai, but I thought that was pretty awesome. I don't know if YouTube's trying to kind of compete with Netflix in that way, but the first thing that I watched, Cobra Kai, I watched the whole season, I kind of binge watched it, and I was impressed. If they continue on that path, then maybe Netflix has to watch out. I watch a ton of YouTube, no ads. I think it's worth it. If you watch a lot of YouTube, it's worth it to not have any ads. And of course, with YouTube Premium, YouTube Red, whatever they call it, you're gonna be able to download videos for offline use. You're gonna be able to uh, watch a video and play it in the background. So let's say you're watching a YouTube video and then you wanna jump into your email, it'll actually continue playing. Uh, this is on Android, I'm not so sure about uh, iOS. I think it does, I'm not sure. 100% uh, let me know in the comments. Anyway, that was just a quick rundown of the things I like about YouTube music. It's a new service. Go ahead and try it out and give me some feedback. Tell me what you think and maybe I'll do an updated video once they do their final, final version. Anyway, that's it. I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, take care. Bye-bye. All right, so I haven't done this in a while. There's a segment where I answer questions from the comments right here on video. So here I'm gonna answer some of the most frequent questions, some of the most liked comments, and something that I just found interesting. So here it is right here. One of the most common questions was on my HomePod review. People are asking now that AirPlay 2 is out that allows stereo pairing of the HomePods, whether I'm gonna review that. I would like to, yeah. Um, but I, I returned my other HomePod like, you know, I didn't like it enough to keep it. So the other one went away. If somehow I could get two HomePods, um, I'd be more than happy to compare those. And if they sound awesome, I'll say it. Some people are claiming that I'm a, you know, Apple hater. And I don't think so. I mean, I have a MacBook Pro, iPad Pro. I have another iPad. I have like five different iPads, iMac Retina. I have every single Apple product except for an Apple Watch and an iPhone. I use an Android phone. But other than that, I use all Apple products. So I'm not hating on their, their products. I, I use most of them. Um, it's just I gotta call it as it is. So if I think that the HomePod is too expensive and that other speakers in that price range sound better, I'm gonna just say that. So I'm not hating, I'm just telling you the truth. So don't get your feelings hurt. Just trying to tell you my opinion. That's it. Uh, another common question on that same video was the fact that I didn't do a blind test. Oh man. I know, I know what blind testing is, I know what A-B testing is, I know what A-B-X testing is, but to be honest, it just wasn't worth it. The sound difference between the speakers I was comparing, compared to the HomePod, there was just such a huge difference. It was like comparing the sound from a, a laptop to Bluetooth speakers. Like, do you really need to do a blind test for that? I don't think so. You know, I don't want to waste people's time. Like, hey man, is it, hey, hey, is it cool if I uh, put a blindfold on you? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, hey, uh, do me a favor. Uh, take a listen to these speakers and uh, let me let me put a blindfold on you. Yeah, yeah, is that cool? Blindfold? Come on, man. It's not that serious. Just trust me. It was a huge difference. Anybody could tell the difference. Okay, that's that's all I have to say.
Do the test for yourself and find out. The last thing I have to say is that I get a ton of comments that are really supportive and thank you to all of you guys. And I do get a few comments that are just people kind of like hating, trying to argue, you know, I think they, they just want to get my attention. And it's always people who don't have anything on their channel. Anybody who's created a video understands how much work and time it takes to make these videos and the effort that it takes. A lot of these people come in, they want to tell you how to do things. Do this, make the video that you want to watch, okay? I'm not forcing you to watch this video. I hope you like it. If you don't, then make the video that you hope that I would have made, all right? Do everybody else a favor, right? So that's my recommendation. But here are some of the comments that people have left for me and thank you guys so much. Uh, you guys keep me motivated to keep going and um, that's it. I'll talk to you guys next time, bye.